Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the Newmar 2023 Country Star. Now, for those of you that don't know the Newmar lineup, this is their entry level diesel product. It replaced the Ventana LE from years ago. And actually the Country Star is one of those coaches uh, names that they brought back. You know, a little Newmark history for you this morning. Um, but you're gonna see very quickly as I start to go through this coach that there really isn't, it doesn't feel like an entry level coach. It's very affordable, beautiful, diesel coach that's going to drive like a dream can't wait to show you this today we're going to talk about the 4068 uh, that's the floor plan it's a new floor plan for Numar, and i think you're going to love it i can't wait for you to see it notice the beautiful exterior paint color of the country star now this is the baja exterior it's full paint with graphics masterpiece finish with the clear coat you're also going to have this diamond shield that goes across your whole front cap and right at your entry, so it's gonna protect those areas. Notice the beautiful windshield. Now this is what makes the, the diesel pusher so wonderful, the big class A so wonderful, is that big windshield that you get to see the country with. So your vacation really starts once you get behind that steering wheel because you get to see this beautiful country, um, kind of like your own little motion picture movie. That's what I like to think of it. Notice the way that the windshield is installed. It's very automotive-like. So you're not gonna have that big rubber gasket that's gonna line the whole windshield. It's nice and sleek. No more, just knows how to do it right. Now, one of the things that comes standard this year is the mobile eye. So you'll see that little rectangular box right there in the center bottom of the windshield. That's gonna be your lane detection, lane departure. Again, another feature that's gonna keep you on the road, keep you safe and enjoying the lifestyle. Another thing that you have this year is the automatic high beams really nice when you're driving at night. Uh, upgraded their headlights so they're brighter. Another feature you're gonna love. Then we've got the exterior mirrors here. These are your saving grace when you're driving a diesel pusher. So you've got your side view cameras um, that you can see when you turn on your left and right signals, but your mirrors are really what you can see everything. If you're getting too close to a curb and you're going slow enough, you can correct that. In addition, the exterior mirrors are heated and internally controlled. We also have the flagpole holder, which is an optional feature. And then this is our side view camera. When we turn on our right blinker, we're gonna be able to see down the full length of the side of the coach. The Country Star comes standard with the double pane tinted safety windows. So you'll notice that it looks really sleek around the coach. Then we have the great grab handles. You have this when you're coming in or out of the coach, very safe. And then you're gonna have your key for the entrance. Now, I also wanna point out this number here the 4068. I mentioned that we we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the 4068. That's a new floor plan this year. Now, if those of you, again, that are new to Numar, the first two digits are the length of the coach. So this is a 40 foot coach and 68 is the floor plan. The Country Star sits on the Michelin 305 tires. We've got the Akoa Durabrite rims, really nice. I love the Michelin tires. Uh, Numar is all about safety, so they've given you a good tire. They also have a steel compartment here that protects your fuel line. That's important because if you were to ever have a front end blowout and that tread, which is so thick and heavy, um, rips off and you know cuts through your full fuel line, you're not going to worry about that in your country star. Now, speaking of blowouts, I don't want you to ever have to worry about that. I want you to have peace of mind. So please go check out my video on Retrofan. It's your spare within your tire. It's a run flat device that's going to keep you safe in the event of a front end blowout. It's gonna allow you to get to the side of the road. It's gonna allow you to get off the freeway safely. Here's our first marker light on the passenger side of the coach. And then we've got our fuel fill, which is gonna be dual on the driver and passenger side. This is a 100 gallon tank um, diesel fuel tank. I think you're going to be super impressed with the amount of storage in this 40 foot coach. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all the bays so you can get kind of a big picture look of how much storage, and then I'll go through each one so you can see each compartment.
And there's more. <laughs> I don't know what you think, but for me, I think this is an enormous amount of storage on a 40 foot coach. Check out our first big compartment. Love this one because it's really easy to get to. Now that is a huge opening. So you've got 30 inch opening there and it's 28 inches deep in that first compartment. Now we get to our second compartment. Again, you've got that 30 inch opening, which is huge. This is a pass through and then it is 18 inches from the bottom of the chassis rail to the bottom of the compartment. So 18 inches for those pass through items. Now you'll notice that you've got cross members here. So Newmar does the star foundation. That's their strong, true and robust foundation that they add to the chassis. Now you can get the country star on either the Freightliner or the Spartan chassis. And then they add the star foundation to give it that extra strength and rigidity as you're going down the road. So the chassis is going to take all the, the bumps and cracks of the bad road, not your house. Second huge pass-through compartment. And then you'll see we have the hoses here for our optional central vac that you can add to the Country Star. You also have a air hose there. Now, um, if you are new to RVing and need some little um, how-tos or helpful information, I have an RVing 101 series. I actually show you how you can air up your tires because your big diesel engine is a huge compressor. So you can see all that in my RVing 101 series. This is our third pass-through compartment. Not very often that you get three pass-throughs, so that's really nice. Now in this compartment, you'll notice that we have our central back. Again, that's an optional feature. What's nice about that is you can actually hook in that hose here and vacuum out your basement, which is really nice, or uh, pull your car up alongside the coach and use it for your car. Kind of nice, so you can use it inside, in your storage, and then on your car. Here we have the splitter for our side cameras. We have the uh, slide out control and two 110 outlets. Another nice thing about these compartments are the lights. So you've got two here on the passenger side and two on the driver's side, and you can see they're pointing into the compartments. So you're gonna be able to see all of your goods. When we get inside the 4068 floor plan, you'll see that the dinette is on this side. Typically in the past, when you had a dinette on the passenger side, it would, the slide would come out and drop down a little bit. So you'd lose some of that space in your baggage compartment, but Numar has made that design so that you do not lose any space in your baggage compartment. So you get that full height, which is really nice. Now we have our exhaust for our furnace here and here, and our second marker light for the passenger side of the coach. This is your pegboard compartment. So you can add uh, trays, you can add tools here, uh, your fresh water tank is behind there. So it's just kind of a handy spot. I've seen people, you know, hang tools off this, uh, store their extra fluids like DEF or oil. So it's just nice to have that extra space. It's nice that they give you that space, even though it's not very big. I mentioned that you can get the Country Star on the Freightliner or Spartan chassis. This happens to be on the Freightliner chassis. Um, really, one of the things that is so important about your coach is the foundation. Um, same as if you're building a house, same as when you're buying a coach. So if you want to learn more about the Freightliner chassis, I have a full-length video on the Freightliner um, factory tour. It gives you a lot of in-depth information on the chassis itself, the smart tools they use. Uh, it was fascinating to me. It is a little lengthy, so grab your drink and your popcorn <laughs> and enjoy, but I think it's worth the time. One of the features that you get on the Freightliner chassis is the ride suspension. So it's gonna give you uh, more stability, less roll and sway as you're taking tight turns. It's just gonna make you feel more stable when you're driving this coach. Our last storage compartment that's lit, our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach and our last compartment, which has our chassis batteries. So easy to get to the chassis batteries and our battery disconnect. Now this is super important. If you are storing your coach, and if you, we are not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store coaches at all of our locations, plugged into a 50 amp or 30 amp service, whatever they require at all times, then you wanna make sure that you turn off that battery disconnect so that you don't have any parasitic draw on your batteries while in storage. Down below is your diesel particulate filter. That's gonna capture all that soot from the exhaust and eventually it will burn it off. So just above the two back storage compartments, we have this door. 
Now, if you're not familiar with Numar, you may not know what this is. This is an emergency egress door. So there's no access from the outside of the coach. Um, I'll show you how it works from the inside of the coach. It's a really slick. You can just literally open it up, remove a panel and a telescoping ladder drops down and you can easily get out of your coach in case of an emergency. Now, just beyond that, we've got a vent here that is for our dryer vent. Check out the beautiful rear cap of the Country Star. Up at the top, we've got our marker lights. Then right in the center, we've got our rear view camera. As you come down, you see the beautiful Country Star name. We've got our brake lights. And then we come down to our exhaust, our seven way for our lights. We have our airline for our brakes. So we can hook that right up and our hitch. Now with this 360 horsepower engine, you can flat tow up to 10,000 pounds or trailer tow 5,000 pounds. So if you wanna know more about towing and about taking a tow on a trip, check out my towing video on National Indoor RV Center's uh, YouTube page. Just past the hitch, we have the lead line for our air suspension. Our rear ladder for access to the roof. And then let's check out the compartment here. So this is our rear radiator, our transmission check and fill here, our engine oil fill, power steering fluid fill, coolant. This is where you can check your level and fill. This is our engine oil fill, our Deutsch plug here. So one of our technicians at National Land RV Centers can plug in here to communicate and diagnose uh, items on the engine and our air filter minder. So when this yellow line gets up to the red line, it's time to now change your filter. Make sure you bring that to us at National Indoor RV Centers and we can take care of all of that for you. So if you look up right here on the corner of the driver's side at the rear of the coach, you've got this vented area that looks nice. Well, that is for um, fresh air to come into your engine compartment. It's gonna go into the air dryer here and then it'll be filtered before it goes into your engine. As I come around to the driver's side, we have our first marker light, first storage compartment. Now inside here, we've got the plug-in for our um, engine block heater. So if it's a really cold morning, you wanna warm up that engine block first, you can plug it in there. Probably if you need to do that, you need to head further south. And our lighted compartment. Just above the first baggage compartment on the driver's side, we have our Truma AquaGo. So this is gonna be your on-demand hot water system. Works great, and this is where you can surface that. Next up is our 50 amp shore power cord. What I really like about this compartment is you can see that there's grom rubber grommets here, so you can thread that through, shut your door, keep all the critters out of your coach, something that you definitely wanna do. Now down here we have our cable access point and our SureGuard power um, protector and our RV power monitor. So you can just scroll up and down for information there. And our light. Here is our DEF tank. So that is our diesel exhaust fluid, something that's required on all diesels. So it's really nice here, you've got a gauge. Now remember that DEF does not like sunlight or heat, so you just wanna make sure you keep it out of there and it does have an expiration on DEF. So if you buy it from like, a, say a Walmart, you're gonna to wanna to check that um, expiration and then just note how long you're storing it. Next to the DEF tank, we have our spot to store our stinky slinky, which is really nice so you don't have to store that in your wet bay. So you put the dirty stuff here, all tucked away, shut your door, and you're good to go. Now to the wet bay. So one of the things I love is that Numar gives us this nice stainless steel panel. Just makes it look high end. Um, you know, this is where you do all the dirty work, so you might as well make it look pretty, right? <laughs> That's what I think. So we've got our light over here in the corner. Then we've got the shower, your external shower. So if you're at the beach, um, you bring the kids back or your furry friends back and you want to wash them off before you go into your gorgeous coach. This is where you can do that with hot and cold water. Really nice. 
You'll also see that we have our hot and our cold low, low point drains. And you'll see this pink fluid in here. This coach has been winterized. So if you are not one of our storage customers and you don't have us winterize your coach, you want to do that yourself, Numar has given you the directions to do it right there. We have our water pump here, our uh, freshwater tank fill on and off, our sewage rinse we can hook up here, and this is where we connect our fresh water. The tank holding capacity on the 4068 is 45 on the sewage, 65 on the gray, and 105 on your freshwater tank. Our filter for the coach, and this is where you can change out that filter. And here is our black valve um, for our sewage, our T-bar for our sewage holding tank, and our T-bar for our gray water tank. And then we just take that off here and we can put our stinky slinky on through there and hook it up. Now, if you've never camped before, never done all those hookups, um, I show you how to do that in my RV and 101 series, so make sure you check that out. So now we're to, we are to our storage bays. These are our pass-through bays that you can see. You can go all the way to the other side. Nice big storage bays here. Again, great, great storage. Lots of pass-through pass -through storage on this coach. Then we have our house batteries here very easy you've got pins here you just pull those pins out you can pull that tray out for servicing your batteries 32 gallon propane tank if you want to add a quick connect for say your gas grill or whatever we can easily do that for you at national indoor rv centers midship on the country star we have our second marker light for the driver's side our third light for the driver's side then we go to the fuel fill for the driver's side of the case uh, tank, which again, that's a 100 gallon diesel fuel tank. If you look right up front, you'll see another exhaust. You're probably wondering what that exhaust is for. Well, that is for your own generator, 8,000 kilowatt generator that's up front. So inside this compartment, we have the T-bar that's going to extend uh, or release the front cap. And I'll show you that in just a second. Then we have our fuse panel for the front half of the coach. And you'll see that New Mark gives you these extra fuses right here. I love that. Otherwise, they'd be in a Ziploc baggie somewhere, uh, you know, deep tucked in a drawer that I'm never going to find. So I love that. You can see that everything's wired really nicely here. You've got a little extra storage room and our light. Here's our second camera. So this is a side view camera for the left side of the coach. When you hit that left blinker, you're going to be able to see down the full length of the left side of the coach. Great visibility when you're driving. Now let's go around front and check out what's under the front cap. So I released the T-bar there. Pop that up. So inside the hood here, you can see these are the big air horns. I like to have those on at all times because I want to make sure people hear me. This is the wussy horn. This is a quick connect airline here. If you want to, you know, blow up some footballs or pool toys, whatever. Then we've got our 8,000 watt uh, generator here. So we've got the oil fill for it, the coolant. We can also start it here. And if you were to trip a breaker, this is where you would have to come to reset that on and off. And you also have the hours for your generator. We've got our light for the compartment. We have our front dash AC um, compressor. And then just below here, we have our hydraulic fluid for our jacks. Finally time to get to my favorite part. Can't wait to show you the Omni Floor Plan 4068. Let's go inside. Just inside the coach, we have this nice grab bar here. Again, that's gonna make it really safe when you're coming in or out of the coach. Also on the door and then outside as I showed you. One of the things new for 23 is a new dash color here. So I think that's really pretty, looks nice. And then, also want to let you know that in the steps as you come up, they are they have drawers. So you can open up the top of the step and you've got a nice storage space there for shoes if you don't want to bring them in, if you've got muddy shoes or if you've got a pet you want to keep um, food there or collars, that kind of stuff. Just nice, you know, or even some tools. Nice to have handy right there at the step. Now as I walk in, I'm going to see the fire extinguisher, which is great right at the doorway. You know where to get to it if you need it in the coach. You can also easily get to it if you're outside the coach. 
Now, something else I'd like you to check is, uh, or actually go watch my video on Protang. It's our fire um, suppression system. We sell it exclusively at National Indoor RV Centers. And basically what it does, it's activated by heat. Um, when it activates, it leaves no residue. So if you put it in your breaker box or if you put it in your engine compartment, if for some reason the heat was to get high enough to activate the fire suppression system, again, no residue. And I showed that in the video. And you can customize it to your coach. You can do certain areas of the coach or you can do any place that you feel like there is a possibility that a fire could start. And we can walk you through that too. So you can give us a call for more information on that at National Indoor RV Centers. Now, just above the fire extinguisher, we have our battery disconnect. This is great to have right at the doorway too. So you can throw that on. Um, if you've left your coach off and disconnected, throw that on as you come into the coach or turn it off as you leave. Now remember, if you're leaving the coach for a long time, you wanna make sure that's turned off along with your chassis batteries. Now, just inside the coach, I wanna point out that we've got the MCD shades. They're manually controlled, which, you know what? There's nothing, that's not a bad thing because my arm always works, right? <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that, but we've got the night shade and the day shade. So typically when I've got, when I'm camping, I'll have both of those pulled. Um, even the day shade pulled if it's nighttime, just because I feel like it gives it a little extra layer of insulation for the coach. As we come into the cockpit area, I wanted to go over what's in our cabinets above here. So we have storage compartment there, which is really, really nice. Our 32 inch Samsung TV. And here's kind of a lot of the equipment that we will, I'll, I'll go through each of these for the coach. So kind of a control center. So let's start up above. We've got optioned in the Everest Wi-Fi Ranger and we've optioned in the Dish WineGuard satellite. Here is our over the air antenna. So we can just hit that on and it's gonna find local channels. Then we've got our Xantrex. This is gonna give us information about our inverter and we can turn it on and off here. This is our power control system. So this is where it's gonna watch what the energy that's being pulled and used in the coach. If we are over tasking the coach, then it will shed the load here. And you can see as you kind of go through the information on this screen. Then we've got our Truma AquaGo. So this is how, this is our on-demand hot water. So we've got it off right now. So you need to make sure that it's turned on outside. Um, as long as it's turned on outside, then you can control it from here. So right now it's in the off mode. When you turn it one notch up, you can see that it turns on. Now it's in comfort mode. So this is the mode that you would use if you were going to take a shower so that you'd have that continuous um, hot water. You can also go up one more to eco mode. You can see that it's still on and eco mo mode is going to just basically warm that water when you demand it. So if you turn on the water, it may take a little bit of time to turn on the, you know, get the hot water to the kitchen faucet. Um, whereas in comfort mode, you're gonna have the continuous hot water. Then the off mode here is the mode that you would go to if you're going to winterize your system. So that would push the fluid through the, the system and you can winterize it from the outside of the coach. And then the clean mode, you really don't wanna to go to that unless you're decalcifying your system, which there's instructions on the outside of the unit for that. But if you go to this, it's gonna cycle through the whole system and it, and it takes a while. So you wanna make sure you don't go to that unless you actually want to go there. Here we have the control for our uh, door awning in and out and our lights for our carefree awning. And then we have our big awning control here. We can turn that on and off and then we have retract and extend. Our security lights, so we have our security light on the passenger side of the coach when you first walk in and then we have our exterior step. Now this is what you want to hit this once you're camping and you're gonna be at the campsite for a while, you don't want your steps to go in and out every time you open up the door. So you're gonna go ahead and flip that switch so that they'll stay extended. This is how we control our slide out rooms in the front part of the coach, in the living room. So we have our off door slide out 
in and out and our door side slide out in and out your third slide out which is your bedroom slide out is going to be back in the bedroom and i'll show you that in a minute welcome to the beautiful interior of the country star so this is the baja interior beautiful very neutral palette and then you can see that we have the glacier glaze maple matte finish cabinets so you can do a matte or a gloss now one of the things about numar i kind of mentioned it is that it's a custom coach so you can change some of these things up if you want to change the backsplash or the countertops we can do that for you and at national Indoor rv centers we've got the full design center so we can help you customize when you first see a numar um, floor plan you're going to see what how it comes standard so how this floor plan comes standard is with an 87 inch jackknife sofa we've optioned in the recliners once you give national indoor uh, rv centers a call you'll speak with one of our rv lifestyle specialists they can walk you through and let you know what all of your options are here if you want theater seating here if you want the recliners we can walk you through all of that so we optioned in for the recliners with the end table in between it's nice because you've got these nice deep drawers for storage and the other nice thing is behind each recliner you're going to have 110 outlets uh, so you can charge your devices really nice those recliners are not fixed to the ground so you can pull them out a little bit further if you want to have a little bit more space to recline them and i'll show you that in a second also when you're in travel mode in this coach in particular i like to turn the recliners so they tuck back in and it gives you more of a walkway when you bring your slide rooms in they're really comfortable they've got the foot rest that you can just pop out and then you just push on the arms and then you can totally extend those so they're very comfortable now the goal is to try to stay awake there are two nice side tables next to recliner so you've got the little one here that's just behind the captain's chair and then you've got this one with the divider a lot of storage just below in the end tables let's check out the storage above here too now one of the things that i have a lot of people special in when they do a coach is um, they'll have these cabinets stay the same depth the full way across and you have to watch your head if you do that but it does give you a little extra storage so depending on what floor plan you're doing that might be something you may want to option in this is nice and deep storage i usually get plastic bins so i can push stuff all the way to the back and then pull it out uh, but you can use that space however you see fit but it's quite a bit of storage behind the second recliner we've got our multiplex lighting system so you've got your ceiling light your sitting light wall light accent so that see those go on and off and you can do you can dim them right here we also have the usb charging port for two, two charging ports and the 110 outlet and then look at those cute um, sconces i love that so um, that's another thing you can change out from coach to coach if you like the sconces in the country star um, you can put them in another line or if you like say the sconces from the dutch star and you want to move those into the country star that's another one of those specials you can do through National Indoor RV Centers. Now, we've opted in. We've got the dinette here, and it's on the patio side. So right now you can't see it because we've got the TV up. We have the 50-inch Samsung TV with the sound bar and a nice big window behind that that I'll show you here in a second. But you've got storage above. This is sort of the AV center, so you've got your cable inputs, so if you want to add a DVD player, or a gaming system, you could put that in here and you've got three free 110 outlets. That was sort of a tongue twister. <laughs> three free and more storage. We've got the LED lighting throughout the coach and here to the side of the dinette, we have two 110 outlets. And on the other side of the, uh, the dinette, we've got another light so the kitchen overhead light seating light here so you can see that i turn that on and off and then the backlit which is taking the light off the panel so if you're watching something on tv and don't want that distraction you can turn that panel off and then this is where we turn on our water pump behind our nice 4k 
50 inch Samsung TV, we have this beautiful window. So I'll take this down in a minute when I get to the control panel, show you how to take the TV lift down, and then we're gonna have that nice big window to, the, to enjoy the outdoors while we're sitting and eating dinner. So we've got the dinette here. This is going to make into a bed. We optioned out, we took that 87 inch jackknife sofa, which would make a bed out because we wanted the recliners, but we still have the bed here. So I'll show you how we can easily make that. First of all, I want to show you that we have storage below the booth on both sides. So, and you can access that by pulling out the drawer or you can easily take off the cushion and you can see below that cushion that we've got our seat belt here. So this easily goes down. You're just going to push the lever from one side and then you just push down on it. Now you're gonna to wanna to just bring up that bottom cushion just enough. Push that down, it goes right into place. I am going to put my cushions back into place. So I grab the extra cushion that I had underneath the master bed, and you're just going to push that into here. You'll have a nice tight fit, and you've got a bed for one little child or maybe two little kids. They're gonna have fun, have a little sleepover right here. <laughs> Notice the beautiful vinyl flooring, and then the beautiful ceiling treatments that are kind of in the Numar swoop. Um, now there's a couple of things about the ceiling treatments that I like. First of all, when you bring your slides in, they're still fully exposed and above or behind these ceiling treatments are our AC vents, our intake and our out. So it's really nice because that airflow is still constant and directly on you if you're in the coach traveling in the back while you're in travel mode, which is really um, a great feature. You're not just air conditioning the top of the slide out rooms. Cause you'll notice in a lot of other coaches, you're gonna have vents lining the ceiling. For Numars, they're always gonna be down the middle, right behind these panels. And we have the beautiful vinyl touch ceiling, the LED lighting. And then if we wanna go ahead and change those filters, it's super easy. So these just pop down. And then you've got the safety straps here. Then you can just pull the filter out, take it out, wash it, bring it back, and you're gonna go ahead and push it right in. Got it. Once you're done, you're just gonna simply pop that back into place. As we head into the kitchen, you'll see that we have lots of prep space here. So beautiful backsplash. We've got the blind and we've got the kitchen window. So we can open that up, see out while we're cooking, which is really nice. Right underneath the cabinet, we've got two 110 outlets at the end and then two more in the center. And then storage above with an adjustable shelf. So this is really nice cabinet if you have a big air fryer or a Instapot. You can take this shelf out if you need that height. A little spot for some spices here above your convection microwave oven. And the handle is just over here, just a slot there where you can put your hand in. So nice, you can bake all you want in here. It's great. And another nice big storage compartment and another storage compartment. Just below the cabinets, we've got our beautiful two bowl stainless steel sink with our residential faucet. Another great spice drawer here. That's what I think those are great. You can label the top of the spice jar, stick them in there, super easy to get to. A little flip down for our sponges and soaps and stuff. And then we've got a nice big cabinet here below. We've got our sink covers and we have a spot for our garbage, which is really nice. I love to not see that when I walk into the coach. Here we have our cooktop. So it's really nice because that's great, great prep space if you're not using the cooktop. And then if you do need it, it just folds back super easily. And then you've got your three burner cooktop, your on and off buttons, all your controls here, nice big drawers. 
full extension and soft close. Soft close drawers, another reason this doesn't feel like an entry level coach because it has all these nice amenities. And on top of that, it's just beautiful. And we have even extra space here. So there's a little button right below your countertop. You just push it, that releases the extendable countertop. So look how much extra space that gives you. Lots of extra prep space. Serve food here and then full extension drawers. Another nice thing that Numar does is they give you a little touch-up paint. So those little boo-boos that you may have, <laughs> you can fix a few of them on your own. If not, make sure you bring it to National Indoor RV Centers. We have the best paint and body collision repair. And I also have a video on that. <laughs> Another full extension drawer. And then when you're done, just simply push it back in and it locks into, into place. Notice how the cabinetry has that residential feel with the feet here at the bottom. I think they just do a lovely job of making this feel beautiful and just like home. And then we go across the way here, check out these pantries. So nice big pantry, really deep. I cannot touch the back wall. That's how deep that is. So lots of storage there. Then we have the Whirlpool refrigerator freezer with the French doors. I've got the lock on. That's one of those things you want to make sure you have on your checklist. I have an RV checklist. When I get ready to go on a trip, I make sure I check all those boxes. If you want a copy of mine, just email me at Angie at nirvc.com. So nice big French doors, just like your residential refrigerator freezer and ice maker, freezer. And the bonus, if you didn't notice before, water in the door. Love that, so you don't have to get in there. And then we have another big pantry with adjustable shelves again. So you've got tons of pantry space. In a 40-foot coach, that's a really, really big pantry. You can bring lots of food. Now this is going to be my favorite part of this floor plan. Two options, and I think Newmar really killed it with this um, option i think they really thought about it and it works so those of you that are rving that are working from the road or you like to have your workspace or you're a quilter and you want to have a spot for your sewing machine numar has given it to us this year so we have the workspace here look at that beautiful desk with its own chair you've got the port there that you can put cords and wires through 110 outlet and usb a multiplex lighting pad here storage above look at those nice drawers lots of storage here you could make that a filing cabinet if you need to and you have two 110 outlets below the desk area so I really love this option. There's more and more RVers that are finding that they can work from the road. That way they can be in Zions National Park for the weekend, work during the week, but when they're done with their day at five o'clock or four o'clock, whatever it is, they can go out and go for a hike or enjoy nature. So I love that option. Now, if the desk isn't for you, the other option is you can make this a beverage center. So we can put a wine cooler, extra fridge there. Um, again, more counter space and storage so that's a great option of this so the desk or the beverage center before before i show you the midship bathroom i want to go over this control panel here this is really nice controls a lot of the functions of the coach you can just go to the home button from the home button it's going to give you the date the day of the week i know for you rvers you forget what day of the week is because you're living the life retired you don't even know sunday from thursday how great would that be this is where we can turn on the water pump can give us the house and the chassis batteries levels and then our tanks so our fresh tank is 10 percent full gray tank black and our lp so again fresh we have 105 um, gallons in our fresh 65 in the gray 45 in the black 32 in our propane tank then we can go to our lights here so we can these are all lights on switches and all lights off which i love so our room living room and kitchen bedroom bathroom master lights all lights off 
the lights are on. And here we have the control for our TV lift up and our TV lift down. So it's up right now. I'm going to go ahead and take it down. You just have to push the button and release. You don't have to hold it down and the TV will go down. Next button is our auto gen start. So this is where we can turn on automatic settings if we want to have certain times of the day that we run the generator and turn it off, we can go to our setup menu and set the runtime and how long we want it to run. Do that all right here. And you can look at your house batteries where you're at, your volts, and your chassis batteries. And then this is going to show the duration of that runtime when you are in your autogen start mode. Then we'll go to our HVAC. So we have our AC and power. Right now it is not on. When I turn it on, it will go red, but we can cool and heat our living room and our bedroom and set the temperature right here. Super easy. We can also go into setup mode so that we can do a program so it will run at certain times during the day or for the week. And then we go to our light switch button here so we can control the lights in our living room, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and our stool room. Again, all those master all lights off, all lights on button, and then our living room, our ceiling lights, our accent lights, our reading lights, our wall lights, and our seating lights. Just below the control panel, we have the control for the fantastic fan. We've got one in the kitchen, and then we have one in the bathroom and in the master bedroom, uh, master bathroom, sorry. This one will control the one in the kitchen. And then we have our first thermistor for the coach. So this is gonna um, speak to the thermostat to keep your coach nice and comfortable at the temperature that you want. Just down here below, we've got our central vac. So that's an optional feature that we've added in here. You can just plug in that hose and vacuum your whole coach. Now let's head into our midship bathroom. So it's on the pivot door. This is really nice when we are in travel mode and we've got our slides in. That door doesn't open and hit the opposite wall slide. So it just pivots. And once you get that shut, it really is quite roomy in here. We have medicine cabinets. Great vessel sink, which gives us a little extra counter space. We've got the control for the fantastic fan vent here. And we have our ceiling lights, our vanity light, and our water pump. We've got a towel holder, storage below. And we have the dustpan. So that goes along with the central vac option. You just touch that with your foot. And you can just sweep everything over to that dustpan and then let it suck it away. More storage above. And again, when I talk about they don't skimp on their entry level coach. Now behind me here, we've got our breaker box fuses. Again, you're going to see that we've got the extra fuses that they've given us. And then a nice little um, map here so that we know exactly what fuses go to which part of the coach. And a little extra storage room. Again, our MCD shades, our blackout, and our day shade, and we can open that for a little extra ventilation. We have our commode with the push button controls and our toilet paper holder. Welcome to the beautiful master bedroom of the Country Star. So you'll see that we get a king size bed with storage below. We've got the extra cushion there for our dinette. We also have a sleep number mattress. So that may be an optional feature. Another thing that you can discuss with your RV lifestyle specialist. Second thermistor for the coach is here in the master bedroom. Beautiful headboard and storage. And two 110 outlets up in that storage. More storage here. And you've got a port there so that if you want to plug something in above, you can put that cord through there. You may want to keep your charging cords there or, um, you never know. Another thing that's really nice with Numar is you'll see that I've got space to make the bed. So I'm not gonna like kill my rings on my fingers trying to make the bed. I love that. And you still have a nightstand for those of you that have a CPAP machine. You've got a space to put it. 
just below the the uh, nightstand you've got the two USB charging ports and the one one ten outlet and a little storage cubby on each side more storage and again you've got the port for cords on both sides of the bed and just underneath the cabinets you've got the multiplex lighting panel so you can turn off the lights and there is an all lights off button and you can also turn off the backlight of that panel so it's not you know glaring in your eyes when you're trying to sleep at night and you're able to turn on the passenger side security light so if you hear some noise outside by your front door go ahead and flip that light on they know you're home they know not to mess with you kind of nice a uh, new wall art for 2023 and then let's check out this great station here so we get lots of wardrobe space in the country star wardrobe space on either side of the tv then we've got our 32 inch samsung tv counter space below and six or well actually five drawers because we've got the nice full extension drawers. This is sort of our flip down AV compartment for the bedroom where we've got our cable input, satellite dish input here, and uh, four 110 outlets. And then here is where we bring in the bedroom slide. So bedroom slide in and out, and then the light panel for the bedroom. Coming from the master bedroom, we just step up slightly to get into the master bathroom. So here we have our radius shower, 35 inch radius, and I'm just gonna let you see how big this is. So I step inside. We also have the magnet closure on the door. So when I shut that, it really seals it nice and tight so you're not gonna have water leaking out. Also, we have the skylight here. So you can see I've got on heels. I'm about five, six with heels, lots of space. And then we've got the adjustable shower head here, which is great. So, you, you know, or you can just use it as a handheld. I love that option. And then when I shut it, see how nice it seals nice and tight. And then this is your lock for travel mode. Again, that needs to be on your checklist. Now we have a nice wardrobe over here. Another hanging space with a light. So between the wardrobe in your bedroom, the wardrobe here, lots of storage for all your clothes. And then I love this, this rear bathroom. So we've got the nice vanity, the beautiful lights, and then all this storage behind the mirrored vanity. So tons of storage, nice counter space, again, stainless steel sink and the residential faucets. Right below the cabinet here, we've got our two 110 outlets our LED lights, towel, towel holder here, nice storage, and full extension drawer, again with the soft clothes, and a little bit bigger full extension drawer here. And I missed this one before, nice little drawer there below your wardrobe. Then we have our washer and dryer. So we've got the Splendid washer and dryer. Now, little tips and tricks. If you come into your coach and there's a horrific smell and you think your sewer's backed up, a lot of times it's the washing machine. The P-Trap has all the waters gone. And especially out here in Vegas where things evaporate like that. <laughs> so to get rid of that smell, you just wanna put a gallon of water into your washing machine, do the rinse cycle. It's gonna fill up that P-Trap and the smell will be gone. Now, I mentioned this on the outside of the coach. So this is our emergency egress door. So in case of, you know, some kind of disaster and you need to get out of the coach quickly from the rear of the coach, this is what you'd want to do. So luckily they've labeled this for me because I'm always wrong if I guess. So unlock here and then make sure it's unlocked below. Door opens that quickly. Remove the panel, which is just magnet on there, and you extend your ladder, and you can easily get out of the coach. Now, if you need to, you can pull this whole balance off. I'm not gonna do it, but it snaps right off, snaps right back on. You've got your day shade and your night shade. 
but again they totally disappear if you need to get out that door you can do it we've got a hook here for our towels another towel bar that's a biggie for me is that we've got towel bars our fantastic van vent right here our lighting controls water pump and our push button Dometic toilet and toilet paper holder and you can see the little courtesy light we can turn that on and off from our bed so that if you need to light your way to the bathroom at night you can do it I always like to show the coach with the slides in so you can see the master bedroom the bed is going to touch the wardrobe so you'd have to crawl over the bed but you really don't have to worry about that because look at all this space that you have here with the desk or the beverage center easily get into like with no problem the bathroom and those great pantries that we have fully accessible with the slides in and you can see with the recliners I went ahead and turned the chairs to give me more of a pathway so you do kind of have to go one foot in front of the other here but you can easily get by you could have someone sitting in the booth with a seat belt forward facing but plenty of space when you bring the slides in so to the cockpit of the country star lots to go over here first of all let's go over the seat the captain seat is super comfortable we have the six-way powered seat so forward or back up and down so you can get it so it's just right so for you ladies you can push it forward and then push it down to make sure your feet can comfortably be at the accelerator and the brake then we have this control here we're going to lift that up when we do so we're going to be able to turn the captain's chair around that's going to give us two more chairs reclining chairs in our living room when we're camping and then we've got the control here for the backrest so if you want to lay that back a little bit more we can easily do that there to the left of me here i have the equalizer system which is our jacks so we have the automatic leveling jacks we can just turn the power on we have to make sure we have the park brake set now the cool thing is you can do this from outside the coach if you want to by easily downloading the equalizer eq smart level app so you'll just download it find your device it tells you exactly how to lock in holding those two buttons down and then you can do everything from your phone that you can do here at the panel so to level the coach we would turn on the power hit the auto level and then when we have four solid lights our coach is level if for some reason we're in a location that it cannot level it's going to say excess slope in that case we would want to maybe move the coach a little bit try again if it doesn't work the second time then i would give it a rest about 20 minutes just so that you don't um, burn up that pump and then try to level again once you're ready to go it um, and go back to travel mode you want to hit the retract all the lights will uh, the jacks will raise you'll feel that happen and then you just power the system off and you're ready to go just below the equalizer system we've got a pocket here I can put my cell phone there and then just behind that I've got two 110 outlets so if I want to charge my cell phone from there I can easily do that another big space here for miscellaneous items and then two cup holders okay we've got our light control here so it's off turn on our running lights our headlights and then pull it out for our fog lights turn that off we've got the heated um, control here for our exterior mirrors and then we can control the top part of that exterior mirror here just like you do in your automobile and then the bottom part you do have to adjust manually from outside this is our dome light so that's right above the driver's seat and then this is our battery boost button so this is super important if you come back to your coach and it's dead you can't get it to start you're going to want to go ahead and push this button and hold it down see if you can tie your house and your chassis batteries together to get enough power that you can then start your generator let that run for a little bit charge up everything and then start your engine down below you'll see this little green button here that's our second Deutsch plug we can plug in a technician at NIRBC can plug in here to read diagnostics from the coach and then just to the side of that is our pedal here and that's how we're going to adjust the steering column up and down I want you to know the beautiful OptiView dash here 
really easy to read. And then we have the drive tech technology that's in our steering control. Everything is pretty much at your fingertips on the steering column. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything that we can see here in front of me. The first control is for our turn signal. So we're gonna go up and, or right and left. So right and left, back to center. We can push this button in for the windshield wiper fluid and then we can adjust our windshield wipers easily here. Now we can pull this forward if we want to flash our high beams or we can push the paddle backwards if we want to keep our high beams on. So here on the steering column they've given us a new quick um, way to get to our comfort drive. So new feature for 2023. All I have to do to get to the steering effort or comfort drive is hit this button here and you'll see steering effort comes up on the dash and I can easily adjust that while I'm driving. So it was a little trickier. You had to kind of find it in the home menu here before. Now they've given you a quick button so you go right to it and then adjust it as you need to while you're driving if you need to. So I'll demo that a little bit more when we're actually doing the test drive. But you can set it high, medium, low. I usually like mine high so that's where I'm going to leave it. Now I'm going to go back to the home button and I can go through all the different gauges here. So steering effort, we just did that. Fuel economy, hit that. It's going to let us know our fuel economy. Then we can go back. Mobileye. So this is going to give us our headway warning distance. Uh, intelligent high beams. So if we want, we can enable or disable. I'm going to keep that on for sure and go back our lane departure warning our speed limit indicator and alert so great features in that new standard feature then we've got our trip information and trip one and trip two i don't have a trip two yet we need to we need to fix that <laughs> um, then we can go down to our vehicle vehicle settings so we can pair our Bluetooth divided devices, adjust our dash brightness up or down. Units of measurement, again, you can customize that to standard or metric. And I'm gonna go back to our diagnostics. Again, internal diagnostics, transmission prognosis. And you can go there, you can see that um, you know our fil filter status is okay, oil life is good, and more system information. So really easy to navigate that whole button area there. We've got our volume control for our radio, plus and minus. We've got our horn here in the center, and then we can answer a call, hang up a call. This is where we can do our cruise control. So we just hit that button for our cruise control to come on, and then we set it here. Another little trick that I like to do is if I am ready to leave the campground or I need to air up the coach quickly, you can start the coach, turn it on, turn on your cruise control and then hit your set button and you're gonna see your RPMs rev and it's gonna air up the coach a little faster. So occasionally I'll do that. If you need to hear someone quickly, you can just mute the radio and you can cancel your cruise control here. Here are your flashers for your marker lights. So you can do that at night if you're wanting to, um, if a semi is passing you, you can flash them to let him know that it's safe for him to pull in front of you. Or if he's let you pass him, you can hit those three times to say thank you. It's basically a courtesy thing. So on the paddle here to our right, we've got our engine brake. This is one of the features that I absolutely love. It used to be on the panel over here to your left and you had to look for it. Now it's right on the paddle. All you have to do, push up for off, push it down for on. Your brake, your, your uh, engine brake is on that way. It's so easy. And this is where you can control your transmission. So you're gonna go ahead and you can put it into drive, neutral, reverse. This is where you can manually shift. Now I don't typically do that, but you may need to do that um, if you're going up or down a hill so you can go up or down then you can just take it back to auto. If you push and hold, you're gonna take it into performance mode 
if you push and hold again, you'll go into economy mode. And I usually stay in economy mode. So just below the transmission paddle, we have our hazard lights, super easy. And then we have our ignition, our parking brake, pull to apply, push to release, our brake and accelerator. Here's your rear view camera. You're gonna see that um, when you go into reverse. And this is where you're gonna see the side view camera when you turn your blinkers, um, your, your turn signals on. Now, we've got the rear view camera here. This is going to allow you to adjust the volume. So the person that is your spotter can actually, you'll be able to hear them in the coach. So make sure they don't say anything, you know, mean about you. <laughs> They're spotting for you. Um, then we go to our screen here. Let's go to our menu. So we've got our radio, media center, XM radio, Bluetooth, our aux, and then we can plug that in right here, our camera, and then our nav and go. So that's our nav system. This is where you can put in your destination. You're gonna have it right here on your screen, very easy to see. And our setup menu. So you can totally customize your screen here. And you've got two pages, so you can make that work for you and then we've got our power button our aux port and then our usb port here so we've got our visor this is our sun visor and then we've got our blackout shade for the front of the coach our overhead fans that's going to help defrost your windshield really quickly if you need that ever um, and you can set that to high medium or low we can start our generator right here. It's nice and quiet. And then this is where we adjust if we want that wussy horn or the air horn. Again, I always stick with the air horn. We've got a little spot here where we can lay our phone. This is not a charging pad. And then we've got the controls for our uh, air conditioning and heating. So we can just set those just like you do in your car. USB charging ports here and 12 volt socket. And this is really nice lock and unlock your entry door. Very easy. And then we have a nice big drawer here underneath for little things, for big things. Love that. Now to the passenger's chair, we have a lot of the same features here. We have the six way powered, so we can get nice and comfy. Then we've got our, something that we don't have on the driver's chair is our foot rest, which is great. So you're also gonna have that when you turn this chair around, which is what you do with this lever here. So if I wanna turn my chair around into the living room and do that, I can recline it here with the backrest and then use the footrest and I am good to go. So nice and comfy. Another feature that's great on this chair is your little desk here. So very easy to use. If you want to work on your computer or laptop or iPad or just look at your magazines as you're going down the road, that's really nice. And we also have the armrest. Now the armrest, we have internal controls here. We just stick our finger in there and lift and that's how we adjust the height of the armrest. When we're done with the desk, we're gonna simply just flip that over, push it down and then push it back and it's out of our way. Now here we have the controls for the step cover. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out because I will want that out when we're traveling down the road. It's just safer. You don't want anyone to accidentally fall into the stairwell there. We have the map light, which is just directly above me and our patio light, which is gonna turn on the little courtesy light in the step well and then the light outside. Cup holder, spot for my cell phone. And then just behind that, I've got the outlet so I can easily charge my phone from here nice little storage space here and then just below that we've got our propane gas alarm all right so you ready to try out the country star i can't wait to see how it handles on the road i'm gonna go ahead and turn on my blinker and let's get going you can see when i have my blinker on you can see down the full length of the right side of the coach which is really nice then it will transition off that once my blinkers are off one of the things that you have to get used to when you're driving a diesel pusher for the first time is just the fact that your tires, that front axle is behind you. So you have to think the back of your seat is where the center of that front axle is and you don't start your turn until 
the center of your front axle is at the turning point. So you put your nose out there a little bit further than it is comfortable initially, but you'll be amazed at how quickly you'll get comfortable uh, with it. And you know, one of the things I always tell my customers is just take your time. You're in an RV, you're living the RV lifestyle. You don't even have to look at that person in the car that's behind you. So if you're a little slow, who cares? You're still gonna get there, right? No problems with that. So take your time. That's where these mirrors turn out really handy. If I see that I am going to clip a curve, I can. I have plenty of the time to adjust and make sure that that's not gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm entering the freeway here. So you see, I kind of made a very tight turn there. That's where that V-Ride comes into play on the Freightliner chassis. You really didn't feel the sway of the coach. So I was taking a really nice tight turn. And other coaches, you may feel like you're leaning out kind of far and it gets uncomfortable. Um, a lot of passengers don't like that feel. We're in beautiful Las Vegas for these videos and I couldn't have picked a hotter hotter week. I think it's supposed to be, uh, you just heard the lane detection. <laughs> I think it's supposed to get up to about 111 this week. So um, we're out early doing our filming today. Now I'm on the road and you can see I've got audible alarms. So we've got some construction going on uh, to the right of me. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the center lane. Um, now, if I were to go ahead and try to uh, change lanes without putting my blinker on. My mobile eye, which again is a standard feature, um, would alert me, let me know that, that, that I'm veering out of my lane. Okay, so now with my mobile eye, it's detecting that I am following too close to that truck in front of me. So it's giving me an audible alarm and a, one that I can see in my dash as well. Another safety and, and really driver assist is comfort drive. So that's a big deal. Newmar's had it on, on its coaches for years. They've been known for comfort drive. It's in computer aided driver assist. So if I were driving along today and there's this huge crosswind um, that's kind of pushing the coach, it the computer detects that and then adjusts for it automatically. So literally, I could drive with one hand. I usually keep two on. <laughs> but I could drive with one hand on the steering wheel and feel very comfortable. I'm not gonna get tense in my shoulders. I'm gonna be able to drive, drive longer. Um, and it's really not about driving longer when you're RVing because a lot of um, our RVers don't like to spend more than five hours on the road. They really wanna take their time. They like to enjoy the journey and that's the whole thing with RVing is enjoying the whole process. So now on the Freightliner chassis this year, they've put my comfort drive in an area that's very easy to get to. So I can just hit this pages button. It pops up on my screen and I can adjust the steering effort while I'm driving if I need to. I tend to keep it higher because I like that firmness, the feel of the steering wheel, um, but you can turn it all the way down. Say if you're in a Walmart parking lot and you've got to make a tight turn, you might want to take that all the way down. Um, See, my lane detection's going off. I'm not driving very safely, am I? There's a lot going on today. I was watching the big semi in front of me, and as I'm doing that, uh, that's another thing you wanna watch for when you're driving these coaches, is you wanna protect that big front windshield. So you really wanna make sure that you stay as far as away from big trucks, cement trucks, um, that may throw a rock at you and crack that windshield. So little little um, safety driving tip there. The other thing that I always advise is to hug the left side of the lane that you are in. So you don't always stay in the left lane because you'll get people get mad at you if you're, you're not allowing them to pass. But you do want to hug the left side of the lane that you're in. Most of the bad things will happen on the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and set my cruise control. And the nice thing about the Freightliner chassis drive tech, everything's pretty much right here in front of me and on my steering column. So my eyes don't need to lead the road. I'm gonna hit my cruise control button on and now I can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Um, really, you know, not that much to think about and you're gonna be more comfortable driving than you think you will. I think these long stretches of freeway are a great way to learn and get comfortable with the coach. I always go to a parking lot 
um, big parking lot where there's baseball fields near our location in Dallas and that's where I take new driver to kind of navigate um, an area, a big area without a lot of traffic so that they start to feel comfortable with the coach. So I'm gonna pull up my decibel reader, 62.5. So nice and quiet and I'm telling you, quiet, smooth, comfortable ride. Um, I'm heading into the mountains and over Salt Lake. <laughs> Not quite. We're not going on that long of a trip. So what are you waiting for? Come out to National Indoor RV Centers and take one of these beautiful coaches for a test drive. We'd love to let you um, go out in one because I think it's important that you feel comfortable, that you know that you're going to be able to drive it. Uh, we are located in Dallas, Surprise, Arizona, which is a suburb of Phoenix, Nashville, Atlanta, and Las Vegas. So we'll be announcing a ne our next location very soon in the Northeast. So be on the watch for that, but come and visit us. Don't delay. We already missed a couple years with COVID. If this is your dream, come out to National Indoor RV Centers. You can get one of our coaches that we have in stock, or you can do a custom order. That's what Newmar is known for. Um, we can customize, we can pick the floor, we can pick the tile, we can pick the backsplash. Um, we have full design centers at our locations. So we make it fun and easy and you can totally custom build your coach. So give one of our RV lifestyle specialists a call and we'll get working on your order today. Thank you so much for joining me today on the tour of the 2023 Newmark Country Star floor plan 4068. Now, if you wanna see more floor plans, uh, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We'd be glad to help you walk you through. There's eight different floor plans that you can get in the Country Star and we have inventory on the ground. We can do a custom order, whatever you like. We try to make it super easy to buy a coach at National Indoor RV Centers. It should be a pleasant experience from the minute you walk in the door until the day that you decide to sell your RV because we really want customers for life. So make sure you give us a call. Don't just make these videos for fun. I really want you to call me. <laughs> so I'm sure you're wondering how much it would cost you to get into this country star. Well, our current MSRP is $446,194. Now I can sell it to you for a lot less. Again, make sure you give us a call. And with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. Again, I've enjoyed this time with you. Make sure you check out some of my other videos, our AIM Club, Protang, Retroband, and Paint and Body. Thanks again and have a great day.